Our next step is to create the river strings. We have to create three river strings. We must have a river center line, a left bank, and the right bank. For Heckgrass projects, the center line string is drawn against the direction of flow so that the low chainage is at the downstream end and the chainage increases against the flow. Now this is so that it follows the Heckgrass convention. The same is true for UNET or XP Swim. However, if you're using ISIS or Mike 11, then you must run the string in the direction of flow. Now the next two strings, your left bank string and your right bank string, are always looking in the downstream direction. So left's on your left, right's on your right. If you do are creating a tributary, the tributary must have a line snap where the two center lines join. There is no such convention for the left and right bank strings. The left and right bank strings must be continuous along a reach. The reason for this is, is that wherever the cross sections where, that we draw shortly cross, we subtract the two chainages in order to measure the distance. So therefore, they must be continuous strings. We're now ready to create the three strings, the center line, the left bank, and the right bank. We'll create them using different methods to demonstrate how they work inside 12D. First of all, we're going to return to our plan view. And we're going to zoom out. We're going to turn off our tin survey and buildings so that we can see more of the data. And if we zoom in a little closer, we'll notice that what's happened is the surveyor has surveyed the center line, the Thalwag, the lowest point of our river along the entire reach. So rather than redraw this string, we're going to duplicate it into the river strings model. First of all, we have to give the string a name. So we're going to duplicate it with the name center line, two words, and then it has to follow with the name of the river that it will be given inside Heckgrass or our other project. So this one is going to be called Geelong. Keep the last part fairly short because many of the packages do not allow long names. Now the string is going to be duplicated into a model called River Strings. And we'll give it a new color to make it easier to identify. We'll make it yellow. Now if we also give it a new line style, now this isn't required, but we'll be able to see the direction of the string. So instead of the standard line style, I'm going to come down to Drainage 12D and select the Flow Line Line Style. Once again, this will allow us to see the direction of the string. Now I have to come down and select the duplicate option. So we'll come down and select the CAD string options. Come across to the duplicate string. String reverse, string copy. And then we'll come and pick that string and accept it. Now fortunately for us, it's already going in the upstream direction. If it happened to have the arrows going in the opposite direction, we would then come up and use the strings strings edit reverse option to have this string flip around and go in the opposite direction. Because our surveyor has also picked up the left and the right banks, we'll demonstrate how we could duplicate one of these strings as well. All we'd have to do is change the name box to left bank and this time we don't want to use the flow line because the direction is not important. We'll change that back to one. We'd simply come across pick that string and accept it. Now we're not going to do the right bank. We're going to wait and do draw our right bank after we create our source strings and our cross section strings.